Kelly Clarkson told me that whatever doesn't kill you makes you stronger, but I find that to be the complete opposite. Every time I get hurt, it slowly depletes my HP like a poison potion or something. Now, I'm pretty sure I'm not a woman, so I'll never have to go through childbirth or menstrual cycles. I've never been set ablaze like a pan of stir fry, nor have I been stung by a bee or wasp. But the occurrences that will be disclosed in this video are just as mortifying and painful as any of those other things, pretty much. But in all seriousness, these instances really be putting me out of commission, bro. At this rate, I'll be looking like Anthony Davis after five minutes of play. So today, We'll be discussing some of the most harrowing and agonizing experiences that I often find myself having to endure on a regular basis. Comment down below the most painful incident that you've ever experienced and like and subscribe if you're new. First, we gotta talk about burning your mouth with hot food. Now, usually whenever I take my food out the oven or microwave, I let it sit like a dunce in the corner. But sometimes I find myself in predicaments where I need to consume my food hastily. Little did I know that my mouth would be put through more pain than a Giants fan. Because the moment I attempt to ingest this sizzling cuisine, my mouth is left with more burns than Freddy Krueger. You know your food is reaching temperatures higher than a volcano when the moment you bite it, steam starts spewing out that motherfucker like a tea kettle. But I'm pretty sure we've all had those moments where we eat something that's still hot and start huffing and puffing like the fucking Big Bad Wolf or something, bro. You know, something like this. My eyes literally start watering from this shit. But as the saying goes, no pain, no gain. So now I'm just trying to thug it out and start chewing quicker than a damn squirrel. But this excruciating experience becomes even worse when you burn the roof of your mouth. Especially when it leaves that blister that resides in your mouth for the next couple of days. Or when you burn your tongue and now you can't even taste the rest of your food. Another food that decimates the roof of my mouth is Captain Crunch. There was a point where I was legitimately petrified to eat this treacherous cereal. Because every time I did, it felt like I was eating sugared thumbtacks. My mouth would be left in more shreds than some slow cooked pot roast, bro. Now we gotta talk about hangnails. Now I'm pretty sure I'm not the only person who routinely cuts their fingernails. Well, at least I hope I'm not because a lot of you niggas walk around with these disheveled ass talons on y'all hands. Some of y'all fingernails really look like y'all were digging graves with y'all bare hands. I'm pretty sure some of you cut your nails as often as EDP cuts weight, looking like y'all got piranha teeth equipped on y'all fingers. However, I personally don't want to walk around looking like Count Orlock. But anyway, sometimes I get carried away and start lacerating my fingers, ultimately leaving me with the most irritating piece of skin ever. Now I'm not gonna lie, my initial reaction is to try and gnaw this motherfucker off like a teething dog. I'm out here looking like Squibber when he was trying to bite that Krabby Patty for the first time. But then when that doesn't work, I just swallow my pride and try to surgically remove it with my hand. But little did I know that for the next five minutes I was going to be tortured because this minuscule fragment of skin starts to evolve into an entire strand that travels the course of my entire arm. Like why the fuck is my skin impersonating a fruit by the foot? I'm pretty sure if I continue pulling I'll start unraveling like a fucking mummy or something bro. I wholeheartedly believe that it only take about 30 seconds before I start to look like one of those muscle diagrams in a doctor's office. Now we gotta talk about getting a brain freeze. Now look, I like ice cream just as much as the next man, but those brain freezes are crippling bro. As a matter of fact, it's really anything that's got frigid tendencies, popsicles, water, etc. Etc. I'll just be downing some purple cow moose tracks ice cream while all of a sudden my brain will get obliterated by this freezing sensation. It literally feels like my brain is getting shanked by icicles. This shit never fails, bro. Especially when you've got a frosty or a slushy. I gotta take like one sip a second to make sure I can counter this incursion. Because when it happens, my entire mouth is stunned for a good 10 seconds. And I hope I'm not the only person who's got that tooth that's more sensitive than a ready user that starts tweaking whenever something cold touches it. And no matter how much studying and speculation that I do, I would never understand how people can just take these Paul Bunyan ass bites out of ice cream. These niggas really be treating ice cream like it's a sub subway sandwich or something. I cringe every time I see people performing this reprehensible act because I know if I was to attempt such an action, my teeth would start stinging like a yellow jacket. Now we gotta talk about hitting your ankle with a scooter. Probably the most infamous encounter on this entire list because I'm 100% certain they were called razors because they used to slice and dice my ankles like a hacksaw. My scooter used to eat away at my ankles like termites in a cabin. Scooters should deadass be classified as a deadly weapon because they could easily send someone to the ER. The amount of times someone from the neighborhood would try to pull off a fake ass dude perfect trick on their scooter and end up frying their ankles would be immeasurable. Like they must have forged these scooters with only the finest and substantial metals on the planet. But this shit used to be agonizing to endure, bro. All I ever did on these motherfuckers was get hurt. Not gonna lie, if I was getting jumped and all of a sudden I heard, hold his ankles, I'ma get the scooter. My soul would evict itself from my body. Another device that specialized in distinguishing my ankles and shins are those bed frames. I swear, these motherfuckers would spawn out of nowhere. I would just be walking in my room and I would get ambushed by this metallic hazard. When people talk about the monsters underneath their bed, I presume this is what they're talking about. My shins used to be more black and blue than that damn dress from 2015. Now we gotta talk about biting your tongue. You never realize how hard you're chewing until you bite your tongue. Like, why the fuck is my body retaliating against me? And I don't know about y'all, but this pisses me off just as much as it injures me. Like, I damn near start scrapping with my food. I don't even be chewing that fast, but yet this nefarious maneuver is still cast upon me. It feels like I'm gonna bite clean through my tongue like a guillotine. And then I'm sitting there wondering why my food tastes like metal. All of a sudden, my dull rectangular teeth turn into fucking razor blades. At this point, I'm just gonna start putting all my food in a blender and drinking it through a straw. I also somehow end up biting the inside of my cheeks. And back when I had a built-in rainbow loom in my mouth, the sides of my mouth were getting absolutely erratic 
suffocated. Trying to eat with braces was literally like trying to escape a saw trap. But that's a different story for a different day. Between biting my tongue and burning my mouth, I damn near got PTSD from eating, bro. Now we gotta talk about paper cuts. Now don't let the minuscule size of these lacerations fool you. Paper cuts hurt just as much as anything else on this list. I swear this shit only happened when we had to read textbooks in class. As if I need another reason to hate these books. But there always used to be that one person who acted like they got their fingers surgically removed and started tweaking like they're off 12 perks. But that my friend is just a tip of the iceberg because this pain gets taken to another level like an elevator. Because after a couple days I would forget that I had these markings and I would blindly apply hand sanitizer. But unbeknownst to me the hand sanitizer is apparently laced with fucking hydrochloric acid. I don't even realize how many cuts I have on my hands until I do this bro. My hands start burning more than the crotch of a frat boy. It feels like I'm getting cooked from the inside out bro. But at least the suffering doesn't last as long compared to the other scenarios that have been covered. Now we gotta talk about stubbing your toe. The pain that's universally felt across the entire nation. This is why I'm gonna start walking around the crib in steel toe craftsman boots. It's the worst when the pain doesn't settle in for a couple seconds and you know that when it does settle in it's gonna hit harder than Larry the Lobster. In my house there's this marble table in the living room and when I was younger I was running to the kitchen or something. My foot dove about three inches into this fucking table. My nigga my toes were speaking in sign language throwing up gang signs and all that shit. It always ends up being my pinky toe too bro. I thought I was gonna have to get my shit amputated. All I could do was fall to my knees and cry. I had to refrain from using every swear word in the book at that moment. Now we gotta talk about rolling your ankle. Now if you watch this video then you're already aware of the trials and tribulations that wearing slides brought me. My ankle would legitimately be horizontal on the floor like I was Kyrie Irving. There are more than one flavor of rolling your ankle but the ones that routinely turn my ankles into soot are uneven sidewalks, street curves, and those random ass roots that be protruding out the ground like the Ninja Turtles. But the worst part about rolling your ankle is when you're playing basketball and you land on someone's foot coming down for a rebound. Now I'm walking around looking like an extra from the walking dead. Another basketball related injury that I'm no stranger to are those damn jammed fingers. Once I was playing pickup with this baseball player, so I called for the ball. Mind you, we're like a couple feet away from each other. And I guess this nigga's baseball instinct started to kick in because he threw what might have been the quickest basketball in the history of mankind. I legit felt like Huey when he was trying to catch that kickball, bro. Except instead of it being my wrist, my fingers were left sauteed. For the next couple weeks, my fingers looked like Vienna sausages, bro. Looking like I got the grimace shake running through my veins. But ladies and gentlemen, we quite possibly might have saved the worst for last because hot oil popping on you is probably the most malignant and unendurable experience of all time. It doesn't matter if I use a tablespoon or if I use the entire fucking bottle. The oil will always find a way to violate me. I literally gotta suit up like I'm going into a fucking war. And it always starts off with just some tranquil and placid popping. But then that motherfucker put a switch on it and start hauling all types of attacks on me. I gotta start using the pot lids as a shield like some fake ass Captain America, bro. But then when my mom goes to fry anything, she seems to be immune. Like she damn near starts washing her hands with it. Meanwhile, I'm in the kitchen fucking tap dancing trying not to get burned. I remember one time I was cooking burgers on the skillet. And whatever cow this meat had came from must have had Mountain Dew as their last meal or something. Because that burger was spamming grease like a motherfucker. The pots were sounding like Godzilla back shots, bro. Not to mention that this ludicrous onslaught leaves a stinging sensation afterwards. It'll be hours later and I'm still feeling the side effects from these burns. At this point, I'll just cook bacon instead of lighting fireworks on the 4th of July. But... I think that's gonna wrap everything up for this video, man. Comment down below the most painful thing that you've ever done, most painful experience that you've ever been in, whatever the case may be. Join the family. Like, subscribe if you're new. 2023 Takeover is in full effect, baby. Let's finish out the year strong, man. And look, I know I've been gone for a minute, bro. You know what I'm saying? But sometimes you need to disconnect, take a step back. I want to make sure I'm putting out the best content for y'all, man. I don't want to be out here just constantly uploading BS, you know what I'm saying? But thank y'all for being patient. Thank y'all for rocking with me, bro. I got some heat. I got some fire content that I want to, you know what I'm saying, start putting in motion that I think y'all really going to enjoy. You know what I'm saying? Comment down below any ideas that y'all want to see. You know what I'm saying? It's a true honor and a blessing to be able to make these videos for y'all, bro. I don't take none of this shit for granted. I really try to put out the best content. And you know what I'm saying? We going to keep growing. We going to keep doing our thing, bro. But with all that being said, I hope this video finds you in good spirits. Thank y'all for rocking with me. I love y'all. I'm G Grimey. It's been real. I'm out. I love y'all. Again, peace.